How many more children got to lose their mother and father for these criminals to continue profiting? When are we going to hold these criminals accountable? Because that's what they are, criminals. It breaks my heart to know that our military is overseas fighting for, who, for, for nobody but for the self-interest and the profiteers of the, of the dirty politicians. Because that's what they are, dirty politicians. And they're sick and twisted. And they need to be hung for treason. Hallelujah. And I challenge that, and, and to the FBI members. I know they're good FBI members. I know they're good members within the Department of Justice, within the Oregon, within the Oregon state, state Troopers. My hat's off. And I understand that your hands are tied. But if we band together, we can hold these criminals accountable. And we need you. And we need Jeremy Comey arrested. We need Loretta Lynch arrested. We need our military to arrest Barack Hussein Obama. Hillary Clinton, the Clinton Foundation, and John Podista with Uranium One. And Calico Resource and all their executives. From Uranium One to Calico Resource to Barry Golding. And, ha and, and join Russia on an international warrant for George Soros. I challenge every congressman and senator to go ahead and support us on a, net, on a grand with Putin on an international warrant for George Soros' head and the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and John Bautista. Because these criminals are the ones that are giving uranium to our enemies. And I didn't say it, Chuck Grassley said it. Senator Chuck Grassley. So when are we gonna do start getting these criminals under Article 3? And when are we gonna release our patriots? Tomorrow, they'll be in court facing the, the de facto judge named Anna J. Brown, knowing that she's tied to all this. Because when you can control the court through Anna Aikens, Stacey, uh, Stacey Beckerman, and, and, Kate, and Anna J. Brown, well, guess what? Who do we go to? Our legislators, like Greg Walden, Gordon Smith, that have been bought and paid for by, the, by these criminal corporations and mining industries? Or do you go to Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley that run Congress? They should do it. These criminals should be right now in, in, behind bars, not our patriots. Lavoie shouldn't have sacrificed his life. Matter of fact, Lavoie should have been right next to us right now. So guess what? To the Finnegan family, my condolences. And to our military that are losing their lives day in and day out. And to our veterans that are on the street. My, my, my heart weeps out for you guys. Wish I could do something. All I could do is bring this information out. Show you where the paperwork is. Follow the paperwork. Shine the light on the cockroaches. That's exactly what they are. Because once those, once those lights are shining, they're going to be running like cockroaches. And Stephen E. Grassi, you're coming Monday, and I will see you on Monday in court. I do, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of Cliff Boyd Britain. Bring Boyd Britain. Bring Cliff Benz. Bring Andy Benz. Because guess what? You put your parents the same way I do, and I fear no man. And the only way you're going to silence me is through assassination. The way you guys did LaVoy. And Kate Brown, I know you're covering it up with Jeremy Comey. And they're going to be coming for you. Because you're a criminal. You're a murderer. That's what you are. Let me continue on. And I'm going to be, and I'm going to, and I'm going to throttle back with Maxine. Because I think Maxine has changed the rhetoric in regards to what she's doing for the Oregonian. Even though we know Les Zates is part of this. Okay, but well, Maxine, I know you were part and you covered this. And let me let me bring this up because I know you're, you're in court every day. And you're part of the you were part of the Oregonian Winter 2008, Volume 35, Number 13, annual report inside with regards to our water being patent and how these corrupt politicians, through the uh, Water con Conservancy con Conservancy Fund, which is Ron Wyden's earmarks, right, and Greg Walden and Errol Blumenauer. Well, guess what? Here we go. You want to read that, Shauna? Which Oregon Wild and supporters fought so hard to implement and defend could be reinstated immediately. U.S. Senator-elect Jeff Merkley, who, who will replace Senator Gordon Smith, stated that he wants to protect old growth forests and pristine wilderness, including the Wilderness Road. And actually, are they actually doing that? If they're actually doing that, then why in the world did they give all these to over 200 mining companies through Harney County, Mount Hare County, and Baker County? And right here, right here with, with the Senate Bill 113, it says they're environmental and radioactive to our environment. 
when they extract these minerals. I didn't say that, that's what the bill says. So are they actually uh, protecting our, our resource, our natural resource, or they're actually stealing our minerals and our land and our water? And Maxine, I'm not gonna go too hard on you because you changed the rhetoric and I greatly appreciate it. And guess what? We also know that these criminals behind the Western Oregon Plan Revision, WOPR. And guess what? We have those documents too. And those continues can continue elaborating off your, off your material of what you wrote, Maxine. So I think that you'd be a perfect candidate to be subpoenaed with respect to this document. And these documents will lead up to all these cockroaches. So Maxine, what are you planning to do? I will see you Monday too. And I will ask you about this article, this specific article that you participated in. Called the Oregon Wild in 2008. This is John Budista, or Budesta, okay? John Budesta knowingly gave uranium, uranium-1 through WikiLeaks emails that we have in our possession, that gave uranium-1, all the uranium, in Harney County, Malheur County, and Baker County, right here. This guy, and he is the chairman for the, for the Clinton Foundation. Here you go, right here. And we got the emails, thank you to WikiLeaks. And I greatly appreciate what WikiLeaks did. And this, this couldn't have been done perfectly without WikiLeaks' help, without them releasing the information, and without uh, releasing uh, Gra Gra uh, Senator Chuck Grassley's letters, because they all come together. This is why our patriots stood there for the Hammonds, because they were unconstitutionally having their land stolen for the Clinton Foundation to sell their uranium to our enemies. While you send your, 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 your men and women overseas to sacrifice their lives. Again, I will reiterate, this is, this is Ron Wyden's financial disclosures. I want you guys to look at Ron Wyden's financial disclosures on how they're tied up to the hedge funds, to Calum under the Oregon Legislative Investment Council. And they're all tied up to the mining corporations. How his son Adam Wyden created his hedge fund. And here you go, these, these hedge funds are all on the Oregon the Oregon Legislative Investment Council and all these other hedge funds that they participate in, which Ron Wyden earmarks are also tied, including his financial disclosure form, are all connected. Callan is spelled C-A-L-L-A-N. There you go. And these and and and, and when you go through the whole list of Callan, you will see the names. And you will see the corporations all tied to these. To the to the hedge funds. So I want to make sure, and here, and these, and this is Senator Ron Wyden. I want you guys to get a close picture of Ron Wyden. Who Ron Wyden is? He's in Washington D.C. Barely, barely represents the people from the state from the state of uh, Oregon. He's never here. He's in Washington D.C. But I ask you, how the hell is him and his and his wife profited millions? Well, well. When, when, when a basic salary for a senator is maybe $100,000, $150,000, how does this guy become a millionaire? Well, guess what? When he creates a legislative bill and he passes it, that, help, that, that aids and abets and the profit of his hedge fund, this is how they become rich. This is by defrauding your water, your minerals, and your land through these hedge funds that are created behind these mining industries. This is him. This criminal should be behind bars. He's not representing you, Oregonians. And guess what? They went after Donald Trump, Harry Reid, Ron Wyden, George Soros. They're going after Donald Trump, right, right here for Trump financial disclosure forms. But guess what? How about Ron Wyden coming over here and explaining his financial disclosure forms, his earmarks, his son's hedge fund, to all the companies that are participating in the theft of their minerals, your land, and your water. But it connected also with Anna J. Brown through the through the through the Lewis and Clark criminal activity. Right here. So what kind of justice is our patriots gonna have? Why do you think Anna J. Brown does not want to step off the bench? Why is she conducting herself as a uh, a tyrannical judge? And guess what? She's violating the most basic fundamentals of our laws.